Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing ship from the Steam Workshop. Now here in front of me is the Grey Wolf Missile Frigate. Yes, a few words there, but this little contraption has been put together with a variety of nasty little weapon systems here. We can have a quick look around them. They've got some nice defensive turrets. They've also got the missile launchers that launch on Whiplash's script so they can be guided into a target. But let's start all our tours like we do when we start at the front. We work our way to the rear and then we'll pop inside and see how this thing ticks. Now, the first thing that drew my attention is the redundancy of camera systems on the front. If you can't aim and point at the target to guide the missiles, you're pretty much useless. So we've got a total of 10 cameras. We've got five along the top we've got five touching the bottom section and then in the center here we actually have a large hydrogen thruster this is going to really aid with us stopping and maneuvering now coming to the side you'll see a similar theme throughout this design we've got this white lighter gray color dark gray black and blue tones all of these working together nicely to create some depth and shadow so as i come around this side you can see the lighting's a little bit clearer over here we've got the two gatling gun turrets stocked nicely there now i had a quick look here and i was trying to work out if these guys are going to be automatically repaired they're not automatic repairs quite standard on a lot of ships design now because once these turrets get taken out you don't really want to send an astronaut out there to to repair them up in the midst of a battle but we've got more cameras working our way on the side but i do like the little recessed areas here these are going to be quite useful to keep these sections protected but at the same time space engineers trucks do like to blast their own blocks if you're not careful so we've got two interior turrets up there that are going to need to be restocked manually and then in a row we've got three gatling turrets of course turrets in a row might struggle to shoot forward but since you've got the missiles coming out the side on whiplash's script i wouldn't be too worried you're going to be using the missus missiles as your main focused weapon these are just kind of defending yourself from fighters and other things so as we come along the side here we've got these little airtight doors and behind here if i just turn my light on you can see we have the missiles prepared to launch on the fantastic script so these can be welded up launched welded up launched and continue to go again and again you can see all the cameras stuck there to the side and of course we've got a secondary missile bay so each one of these missile bays hold four missiles so if we just move up here you can see that is a total of eight on either side a lot of firepower and someone's defenses on another ship ain't going to be able to take that so as we work our way down the middle of the hull, you can see we've got this blue area that kind of edges up to the rear thruster. It's kind of a little bit like a sports car at the back here. We've got these like spoiler-like thruster pods. In the center, we've got quite a standardized hydrogen and iron combination thrust pack. We've got these little engine base cell pods that I think are pretty cool. It's like, it's, I imagine the guy was like, you know what we need? We need engine cells. Do you want just two? No, we need, we need four. No, four's not enough. So they've added some more on the side here. So another hydrogen thruster pod. A nice little combination. I always find that iron and hydrogen thrusters work really well. Now as we come along the side, either side has these cool little automatic Gatling gun defense turrets to stop any missiles that are coming into the target. But we'll have a look at them a little sh sh shortly later with the missile turrets as well. So what we want to do here is dive ourselves in the interior. And the, the door is not very clear from this location. But if we just have a quick look, we've got the main airlock on the top deck. As we work our way in here, we've got a double-sided airlock with a glass window in the middle there. Dropping down, we've got ourselves the cryopods on either side. So you can have a nice sleep in this section, if you wish. As we continue working through here, since this is quite a narrow ship, everything's got to be very compacted down. So you can see if we go into this area, it's just a dead end. So you're going to actually have to work your way back up through here and take one of the alternative routes through the ship. So the alternative route, if I remember correctly, is through this little corridor that leads... Oh, God, we've got, I've gone back on myself here. I'm always getting bloody lost. Yes, it's through this maintenance tunnel. I, I, I always get stuck in these ships. Sometimes one area leads into another and I just completely miss the other door. There we go. That was that was the way I was supposed to go down that ladder. So we come back through into this area and we're walking down the centre of the ship now towards the missile base. You've got this little catwalk where someone can check on the missiles, repair anything. If it's broken, once a missile is fired or misfired, you can see the connectors with the merge blocks there on the top. Very cool indeed. As we continue moving forward to the front of the ship, 
we go down into this section where we've got the assemblers, the processing. We've got a multi-deck area here, so you can go down to the lower floor if you need. And all we're missing now is the command and control center. So if I come any further through that ship, you'll see that there is nothing there. We'll have a quick flick through the blocks. I'll just hover inside this one so you can see a little bit of how the internals are laid out. So we do have some layers of armor in between these vital areas, but it is still quite thinly protected. I guess the idea for that is since this is a missile cruiser, it's going to be sitting at the back, dropping them missiles down. So main airlock in that section. Let's um, double check and have a quick look under here and just see what's down in this center. So down in this area, we've actually got the command and control center really well protected this place. I'll just clip through the wall and you can quickly look. So we've got this spaced armor segment where it's actually a walkway and you've got the armored section in the middle where the cockpit is located. We're inside the cockpit and we're gonna do our best to get this thing working straight away. Now, as you can see, we've got a few different scripts running properly now. I've activated everything. You can see the missiles have no target. They're also giving the information on the range and they can also see it displays more clearly the missile status now uh, due to the scripts being fully operational. We've also got the radar on the deck down here. So let's give these things a little bit of a test flight. So we've got the toolbar. First thing we need to do is arm the systems. We're activating number one. We are arming the systems. Launch bays are opening, exposing missiles on either side. Perfect. The next step on the toolbar, let's uh, pop ourselves back into first person, have a quick look. So we need to build the missiles. We've already got them built, so we need to view the targeting camera. Okay. Let us access that with four. So there it is. Now we need to access the lock. So locking on the target with five. Okay, that is locking the target. Okay, target locked. Missile file control. Oh, we get a beeping noise too. This is pretty awesome. Okay, so we can launch one missile or launch four missiles. Okay, you know the option I'm going with. We're launching four, so let's hit number eight. Missiles are away. Oh, look at that. Okay, missiles are spreading out, moving towards the target. Now, this one has had its defensive systems disabled, and it's friendly to me. But look at that lovely cluster all going on the target. Oh, big impact. Big explosion. Did they actually push through all the way to the other side? No, they actually ended up hitting this ship's missile bay. Of course, the missile bays weren't armed, so I guess it kind of to show you if you do hit one of the missile bays on this ship, you will not go up in flames. So we are going to launch everything. Okay, here we go. Eight, eight, eight. That's three eights. That should have launched all the missiles. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is awesome. I love some of the scripts in Space Engineers. It's just a shame that if you enable scripts on the server, you, there's not any checks where you can allow certain ones, but not others. Oh, lovely. I think we've gone absolutely straight through that guy. Yeah, we've gone straight through. I thought a missile might actually go through and then come back around. So if we go back into our cockpit, that is all missiles done. So let's disarm missiles. Let's um, disengage the target lock. Let me just reassure which one that is. Um, so that is the lock key. Which is the lock key here? So it's number five. Okay, disengage with some nice audible sounds as well. That's important. <laughs> Right, so we have to have the missile doors open, perhaps, for them to be able to be built. Let's try locking on to a target that's moving. So I've just locked up another ship. This time, this guy is moving. This is a droid worm type ship. So you can see that it's moving to our left at quite some speed. Let's launch some missiles. Let's launch a battery missiles out. There they go. They've gone out the side. I shouldn't have gone at max speed. I don't believe I was going at max speed. They're going towards it. They've got an impact. All right, so we've got something loose in the hangar. This ain't good. A bit scary. Big impact from that ship. Let's slow ourselves down. We are going about 20. Let's launch again. Four missiles going out. There they are. Barely making it out of the hangar. Oh, God, please don't come back on myself. Oh, no, they've made it far enough around. Wow, this is awesome. You could be maneuvering on your enemy. Have your turrets engaging. Oh, yes. Perfect. Right, let's go with the mother love. Let's finish this guy off. So we are at 25, we don't want to go max speed. The tag is actually behind us now. We are launching both of our shots out. Oh, we've had some we've had, had impacts to ourselves. Don't engage a target to your rear. I think some of these missiles are still 
Still working, still homing though. We've got one that's left on the left. Oh no, it all went wrong. So to ramp that up, a really cool ship here. Especially with Whiplash's missile script. Anyway, let's thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you liked about this ship best in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.